It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. I did. Um, NYE, right? Yeah, cool. Um, so New I Year's got one Eve. thing I want to say to you, Mr. Sir. Say it, dude. Here we go. You are. A great guy. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Yeah. You are a fantastic human. Merry oh, thanks, Christmas. bro. I've, I try to be a good human. I have only been human for about eight years now. Yeah. And I think I'm doing a good job. Prior to that, what species were you? I'm a lizard person. <laughs> wow. You came from underground? No, no, no. I came from Mars. Oh, shit. And then you dwelled the underground afterwards. Is that well, how lizard people work? Well, we do have a colony in this hollow earth, but here's the thing is mm-hmm. we really fucked. There were some bad lizard people who made a couple deals with the Nazis, and they're just like, hey, come over here. We'll lead you to the true area. Were you one of the better ones? Uh, well, I was part of the lizards who came down here to stop that from happening. But oh, here's shit. the thing is the greys don't believe that us lizard people have some good in us. So mm-hmm. the greys are just wiping us out. But here's the thing. We're trying to get a deal with you humans because the greys don't respect you either. They're taking you up. They're shoving stuff up your butts they're doing weird stuff to you and then they're dropping you hey back man, on your butt i don't want any shit shoved up my butt hey well thank eisenhower because he signed a deal with the grays letting them do whatever they want to us as long as they don't kill us but guess eisenhower? what they do they fucking kill us yeah he where can i fuck. find this eisenhower guy? you can find the treaty this is true <laughs> This you told true. me. You he told me about this. He disappeared for fifty for like a that whole guy dipped a, out for an evening. When has the president ever disappeared for an evening? What did they say? What was his excuse? He was. They said he had to go to the dentist to get a, a crown replaced for that long. No way, bro. He was signing a deal with the Greys. Nope. Look it up. There has to be some documentation of his work. There's pictures, whereabouts. dude. That's when he met Valiant Thor. And if you don't, oh my God, guys, if you really think I'm full of shit, just Google Valiant Thor. That was our closest we've met. He was a Venusian from Venus, of course. Uh-huh. And he was here to try and help us solve world peace problems. But we couldn't do it because all we wanted was fucking weapons because we're fucking When animals. you first did research on this whole thing, mm-hmm. how long and how deep did you get into this long rabbit hole? Long and deep as I could, bro. Hey, man. That's the way life should be lived. That's right. Long and deep. Hey. Hey, um, hey mom. So I love crazy things. And I love crazy things as well. One of the craziest things I've ever seen is any Gary Marshall movie. Every single one of them, uh, dude. One of the craziest Gary Marshall films is Pretty Woman. And if you've watched the like original trailer for Pretty Woman or like the original cut of Pretty Woman, uh-huh. it is not a good story. Real, it's like, way filtered they out. They literally filmed the whole movie and they watched it in post. And Gary Marshall was like, "Yeah, we got to make a lot of changes to this oh, thing." Oh yeah, that's why they're using bloopers of Richard Gere snapping the box on her fingers and shit to make it funny and light. Yeah, oh yeah, well because like the concept within itself, I it, because it's it gets Big very. Mistake. Big Very mistake. close to, to glorifying uh, prostitution and whatnot. And it it's a way grittier storyline than it is in essence. Totally. But it's Gary Marshall, and Gary Marshall loves rom-coms. I love Princess Diary. Oh, did you watch the second one? Oh, yeah. The yeah. Royal Engagement. The Royal Engagement. Because I hadn't seen them Full since I was a here. kid. And I, I haven't don't... seen it recently. Yeah. Uh, I really always like to try and find the school that you went to in San Francisco, which I don't know if that actually existed. We should get on BART right now. And just, okay, goodbye. Let's search. And we're back. Wow, we did not find it. Yeah, no, 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 no. It was uh, crazy. Uh, We just came back. This is uh, five (laughs) hours later than the original recording when we started. And we are exhausted. Um, But yeah, we didn't find it at all. We are, though, talking about uh, classic Gary Marshall, part of his trilogy. His piece de resistance. Yes. This is the uh, second one. Mm-hmm. What right? was the, the third one was? So it's it was Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. Then our movie New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it sum, summarized all up with Mother's Day. Wow. I didn't even know Mother's Day was a film. Oh, boy. It'll be coming up when we when Mother's Day comes up. I have a feeling we're going to do all of Gary Marshall Yeah, films. we're going to tackle a bunch of Gary Marshall films. It's an easy holiday. Yeah, this guy, he's... Uh, only makes rom-coms and i was trying to i was doing research on him and i was like duh he's been married to the same woman for 50 fucking years this guy is a romantic are you gonna be gary marshall in 50 years uh hopefully yes dude <laughs> i'm gonna be- make a bunch of rom-coms um shall we jump into the nighty grindy badidi badaji we should jump into whatever the hell that was that you just said oh sorry i have the wrong translator on beep boop 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 <laughs> the itty bitty wow. nitty gritty committee there you go that's much more clear now yeah let's jump into it dude my lizard brain was uh flip flickering you gotta fix that lizard brain dude uh we've watched the movie new year's eve it is rated pg-13 it was released in 2011 go 2011 class of 11 yep uh it has a runtime of one hour 58 minutes and you for you melissa melissa are you listening 
It's 118 minutes. Uh, this has a rating of 5.7 out of 10 it. on IMDb. It has a 2.5 on a weird website called radiotimes.com. Radio Sounds times. like two things that are about to die, radio and, and times. times. Yeah. Um, lowest rated Rotten Tomatoes we've ever watched. Really? 7%. 7%. That is one digit. Yeah, that's bad, bro. I think nine is was the one right above it, but seven is low. I'm pretty sure Thanks Killing had a better rating than Thanks Killing actually had a pretty high Rotten Tomato score. Yeah. 23, I think. Some Yeah, up there. I mean, it's more of like a, a cult classic. Okay, shush. Do you want to guess what percentage of Google users <laughs> like you this? shush me? Yeah, we got to get this shit. Let's get this Okay, fucking... let's get this ball hey. rolling then. I love you. I love you too, dude. Oh, yeah. Otis is so jealous. Otis. Mm, we're kissing hey. over here, Otis. Look Otis, at, look you at like that? Oh, yeah. Love you, Stop Otis. Stop kissing me, Christian. <laughs> um, percentage of Google users? Um, ooh, 78%. Melissa, you want to guess over there? Scream it. 69. Nice. You get 69 because she's hilarious. You're both fucking wrong. Um, you fucking yucks. Uh, I'm a fucking yuck. You're a yucking up over there. With your insults, jokes. do you just like to call us anything as long as it ends in uck? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the right Google I, was just, I don't know why, but my initial response was going to be, Kike doesn't end in uck. Damn, <laughs> but dude. But you're not German at all. Yeah, so. you <laughs> never called me that. Uh, 82%. 82. Okay, so I win. I was close. I was, I We're said not seven. playing prices right. Damn. We're playing closest to the pin. <laughs> and I'm closest <laughs> to the pin, dude, so I should win. Um, Here we go, guys. Here comes... The synapses. Go ahead. No, I want you to try. All right. Let's start it from the top. Here's a synapses coming right at you. Nice. That's right, baddies. We're switching it up on you. Beep, beep. All right. Intertwining stories promise love, hope, forgiveness, second chances, and more for a number of New Yorkers on the celebrated night. A rock star and his ex-lover clash at an exclusive party. A singer becomes stranded with a killjoy on the way to a New Year's gig. A nurse stays with a dying patient as he tries to hang on long enough to see the ball drop in Times Square one last time. Now, that's already a long-ass <laughs> synopsis, but that's not going to cover any of the shit that really goes down in this movie because there are so many celebs in this. It's there. a lot. Shall I read the cast list for us? Yeah, I think we have 20 minutes. Well, I read the cast list. The budget was $56 million. Do you want to guess how much it made? Um, 56 one, budget. 100 mil. Mel, you want to give a guess? Two, uh, two hundred million. Two hundred dollars is incorrect. <laughs> two hundred pesos. Uh, no, it made one hundred and forty-two million dollars. So Damn. it was a subtle success. Almost tripled. Here we go. Starring. Well, not starring in no particular order. Uh, here we go. Um, it's actually maybe roughly. No, it's not. This is no particular order. Zero order, guys. No order. There's no order to this. No order. Anarchy. Oh wow. This is chaos. It's bonkers. Read it. <laughs> okay. Jake T. Austin, James Belushi, Haley Berry. Haley Berry? <laughs> Are you Berry. cultured, dude? <laughs> no. You know, you know why I'm not cultured? Because she made Catwoman and she you get to take all of her critical acclaim away when you make a movie like Catwoman. We all forced ourselves to forget Halle Berry ever because since Catwoman. Catwoman. Catwoman and the James Bond movie she was in. Oh, Both that's right. Both of those things made me want to gouge my eyeballs out. That's a so Pierce Halle, Brosnan one. Haley yeah. Berry, uh, Jessica Biel. Michael Bloomberg's in this movie. John Bon Jovi, Abigail Breslin, Luda Chris, Luda Chris, Robert De Niro, Josh Duhamel, not Timothy Oliphant, not Timothy, not Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant, not, not Timothy not. Oliphant, Zac Efron, Hector Elizondo, Carlo Guglielmo, Christian Heigl, Ashton Kutcher, John Lithgow, Catherine McNarma, Seth Meyers, Leah Michelle, Alyssa Milano, Sarah Jessica Parker, Russell Peters, Michelle Fifafia, Sarah Paulson, <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, and Hilary Swank, Sophia Vergara, and a gentleman by the name of, or maybe a female, I don't remember, Nat Wolf. You lost all of your articulate skills during that. What are you talking about? You just... Started slurring your words mid through midway through. No, the, all I said of that. all these names how they're said in classic New York tongue. Michelle Fafafir. Michelle Fafafir. Sophia Vergaro. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, that's. I'm trying to say it in a cultured way. Hmm? You're very Listen, cultured, man. Russell Peters. <laughs> Did you roll the R's for Russell Sarah Peters? Jessica Parker. I, you're getting Swedish. 
I think. Santa Myers. <laughs> it's just a bouncy voice. <laughs> Um, who's your favorite actor real quick? This is not your best person on set, but who's your favorite actor in this movie? Not, not necessarily their character because they all had garbage characters. Robert De Niro, oh, dude. Oh, nice. It Mine's has Ashton Kutch. Yours is Ashton Kutch? Because he did not want to make this, you can tell. In you can tell. Eyes. Maybe that's a character choice. Maybe he's that good of an actor. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't just, know if he is. I, he's that good of a person. He's, he's a, a great good guy. person. Oh, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, but when it comes down to this film, he you literally can tell he didn't want to be in this. Literally doing not Maybe that is a character choice because his character doesn't like New Year's and is hating on everything. Uh-huh. And guys, this movie is just a bunch of nonsense stories that do not connect. Some of them do, yeah. but it doesn't even matter if they do. So we're just going to break it down by person who we want to talk about because there's no other rhyme or reason because yeah. this movie is we're garbage. We're not going to go in any particular order. It's just... It takes place on New Year's Eve. The ball gets stuck. At one point, they're trying to fix the ball. But other than that, there's no real conflict. It's no. everybody's just doing their own shit. Yeah, people people have their own small personal internal conflicts. Sometimes I, sometimes they intertwine, mm-hmm. sometimes they don't. I mentioned to you when we when I first saw you was that this I think is like the female Avengers. Yeah, where it's like an interlaced <laughs> storyline, and like I think women will watch like this and Valentine's Day and be like, oh yeah, totally. Like this is the part of a trilogy, all probably under the same y- universe. I think it's all intertwined, bro. It's fuck the Gary Marshall universe is a thing. I man. love Valentine's Day though. That's my favorite of the three. I haven't seen. It, dude. Oh, so this good. is my first Ashton time. Kutch, George Lopes. George Lopes is Bradley in it. Coops. Man, that that's something I'm gonna have to see. If it's if it's just as crazy and bonkers as this, just I'm gonna see it. Um. So, anyways, we were talking about De Niro. Yes, Robert De Niro plays a gentleman who is stricken with cancer. Yeah, and, literally going to die tonight. Yeah, and he doesn't want to go through. He hasn't asked for any type of therapy. No chemo. No, none of that. And he's just on his deathbed. And the only thing he wants to do is stand on the roof and watch the ball drop. Yeah, stand on the roof of the hospital because it has a great view of Times Square, and you can see the ball drop when the countdown ends. And that's all he wants, but the doctors will not allow it. The nurses will not allow it. And uh, what are you doing over there? What? What are you? I know I'm talking. Did you just pucker your lips at Melissa? No, no, no. What no. are you doing, no. No, 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 dude? No, 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 no. What? Happy New Year's. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Babe, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> She's got gummy bears. She's good. Okay, all right. Yeah, just eat your gummy bears and we'll be fine. All right. De Niro was actually quite a shock in this movie because he didn't have to do much, mm-hmm. but very believable. Yes. Uh, these characters have, uh, I think, excuse me, these actors didn't have much to go with. No. Very simple script. Point A, point B. Here's the time limit. Here's what's going on. Everybody had a uh, thing that they were trying to do, and by the end of the movie, they didn't give a fuck about that thing. Yeah. Pretty much every single person. Yeah. I mean, and it was must have been pretty easy for for them to shoot because each character mostly spent Ooh, their time in one a, location. I think this was a garbage headache to shoot. You think so? Because, well, like one at a time. But I but no movie. What one no, scene at a time? I think I'm saying. they did. I probably. I think they probably filmed multiple things at a, at one time. A A crew, B crew, uh-huh. C crew, um, because that makes sense. I can imagine that. Let's get it done. We don't need Hillary Swank in a doctor's office well we need abigail breslin and to Times square you they know don't I mean? need all the actors and actresses together in one room i would even venture to say <clears throat> that zach Efron never met ashton kutcher on the set of this no film. i i will venture to say that too i i think that they I all met up i bet you de niro didn't meet any of them hey it's robert de niro robert de niro came for one day shot all of his scenes and got paid a hundred million dollars fuck yeah dude with a name like that Shit, I think this is how how it was planned out. Hit me. They met together for the table read. Uh huh. They did the table read. They all met you think up. They had and they're a table like, read with everybody. Go team. I don't actually. Think so. No, no, that's fucking no ridiculous. Way. You think they got all these people in one room? You don't think they ever got in the same room at the same I time? Would, I think at, they. Even the premiere didn't have everybody in the one room at one time. You think so? No, all these people are doing so much stuff. This looks like a movie where That's they're right. like, they sign the contract and they're like, so when are you free? February 3rd to okay, February we'll 16th? Out. We'll figure it out. That's when we're filming. Perfect. Perfect. Halle Berry, Robert De Niro, you guys free around the same time? They're like, we're always free. We're, we are always we, free. We have no work. And Robert De Niro's like, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, why not? Halle Berry's like, after Catwoman, I'm always, always free. free. I tried to do a Bond movie and... Uh, Damn, Can dude. Can we take Oscars away from people? <laughs> if because, you walk uh, up. I got a list of people we should take Oscars away from. Number right. one, 
Haley Berry. Hey, Haley Berry. Number two, Woody Allen. Oh, with, for the shit that he's done, yes. Number three, Roman Polanski. For the shit that he's also done. Number four, Haley Berry. Again. Yeah, because it's so bad. Number seven. I'm just jumping down because this one's a big one. Nick Cage. Um, let's continue. Oh, poor Nick Cage. Uh, this movie has a Jessica Biel in it, and she's come up a couple of times in our movies. And yes. it's not her fault, but here's the thing. Very believable in this movie. Oh, yeah. She's a pregnant woman, and she's playing up a storm. And she's with, with Seth it. Meyers, who I wish did more acting. He, I think, I, I almost wish he didn't take over Late Night from Seth, Ro- uh, Seth Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> You're about to say his name again, huh? Seth, Seth Rogen, Seth Myers. Seth, Seth Rogen. Um, uh, <laughs> um, that was my Seth Rogen impression. How'd that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Here, baddies, this is how you laugh like Seth Rogen. Drink a lot of milk until you get a shit ton of phlegm in your throat and just force laughs. Uh, uh, for all the vegetarians out there, <laughs> yeah, this is your... This is a good time. Yeah, this is a good time to if you want to try that. Actually, I don't drink a lot of dairy anymore. Oh, really? You're changing up your health? Uh, well, I, I haven't drank a lot of dairy for a while, actually. You know, I, I, I hate to admit it, but um, I think Superman lied to me. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think I need to drink milk every day. No, that's... Uh, yeah, you could live without it. That's I like used a, to guzzle milk, bro. But milk is... I was just having this talk with a coworker. Tent, and this is a side this bar is such about a weird milk. Thing <laughs> Welcome to Milk Talk. Hey, hey Milk Talk. Um, but she says that her son just loves to drink milk yeah, with everything. I think a growing boy... I, don't get I think it. it's okay for a growing boy, but it's a lot of fat. Like, you got to be really moving. Yeah, yeah. But for, like, the taste of it, objectively oh, so speaking... Good. So delicious. No, I don't think so. So delicious. Like, regular whole, whole milk, milk? So delicious. No, it's just so creamy delicious. water, dude. Mm, no, it has no actual no, flavor. So It tastes like milk. Dude, I'm down for, like, vanilla-flavored almond milk. I can't even remember the last time I had a glass of milk. Really? Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, I can imagine that. I used to have. And my... now I'm now I'm really into almond. Yeah, almond milk is the way to go. Uh, not Let's... soy though. We're not soy boys. No, I'm not. I'm not a soy boy, dude. Anyways, uh, next Back character you want to talk about? Um, fucking all of them. There's so many. Uh, Abigail Breslin. It, this movie was made almost ten years ago, and Abigail Breslin yeah. looks like she was twenty years ago. <laughs> like she's playing a child. She's playing in middle school. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, and uh, and people think... age like this, dude. Yeah, everybody did not age well from this movie. No. Well, Robert De Niro still looks like Robert De Niro, but maybe he just looks older in this film because he's dying. <laughs> <laughs> he also best looking dying guy I've seen in a while. Yeah, he had long hair. He, was, yeah. he had it going. Dude. What kind of cancer did he have? Yeah, man, like glamorous cancer. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You should. Robert we're De gonna, Niro. We're gonna donate, guys. Good. We're gonna donate to cancer the cancer awareness yeah, fund today. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, um, Let's see. There's so many fucking characters. Ashton Ash- Kutcher's in this movie and doesn't want to be here. He wears PJs the entire time, he even gets, when he goes outside. He gets trapped in an elevator with Leah Michelle, the gal from Glee, mm-hmm. and uh, he has a couple good lines. Like they're stuck, and she's like, "Why don't you open the the latch up there?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm not Spider Man." Yeah, and that's the last good line he has. After that, it's just kind of he was just talking. He was reading the script. I'm pretty sure the script is on the floor, and he was just reading it because he wanted to get out of there. This is a fun movie to watch on New Year's Eve because I don't know very other many. I don't know many other. I don't know very many other New Year's Eve movies. I'll let you know why this movie is good to Tell watch. Me why. Because if you in the first fucking ten minutes, you and your friends are gonna be like, "Oh shit, that <laughs> person's in there." Actually, oh shit, I would say, that person's in there. I would say for the first half an hour. Yes, they're introducing people for thirty minutes. Constantly and then, surprised. Once you think they've done introduced people, some twists. Mm -hmm. Or that they introduce people like, spoilers, Common comes into play. That's right. And that's uh, something that you don't see coming out of Question for you. Hit me. All right. Who's a better rapper slash actor? Common or John Legend? Common. John Legend's not a rapper. (laughs) (laughs) Nor have I seen him. I've only seen him act maybe once or twice in a film. (laughs) But Common or Ludacris, specifically in this film? You know, I recently watched Fred Claus, and Ludacris was in that as well. Oh, and, how's his performance uh, he's also in that? Garbage. He's, he's also in Fast and the Furious. Garbage uh, as well, but good. <sighs> garbage, but good. Um, Ludacris, I don't believe anything he's saying. I just feel like Luda- he's... Yeah, I believe every single time he comes in a scene, he's about to say Luda. I think unless he's playing a DJ, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yes. Or he could be my hype man. I'm down for Ludacris to be my hype man, because I feel and pumped. What was the other option? Common. Uh, Common's a better actor. Yeah, I 100% agree. Uh, I think he's a better rapper, too. I have a funny... No, I don't even want to go into that. Um, so the next <laughs> character I want to talk about what? is Sarah Jessica Parker, who plays Abigail Breslin's mother uh-huh. uh, and a fashion designer. 
And she is like the fashion designer in New York. Yeah, she's, she's wearing clogs. Well, she is like designing the best and greatest clothing for like the Rockefeller Rockettes. Yes. She's also making a dress on the side for nobody in particular, but fits does her it. perfectly. Yep. And in the beginning of the movie, they're like, oh, who's that dress for? And she's like, nobody. And it's like, oh, that's we know who for you, for Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Parker, Jessica Parker. SJP. Mm-hmm. Is she still married to Bre- uh, Matthew Broadwick? Uh, well, at the time, I guess she was because guess who shows up an hour in? Matthew, Matthew Broderick, Broderick, who seems like he didn't want to be in this movie Is either. Is playing a person named Mr. Bullerton? Yeah, I'm pretty... I <laughs> thought I heard that wrong. Thank you for confirming this theory. It Was was that a tip of the hat to Ferris that, Bueller? I think it's a tip of the hat. Sometimes you come up with some bullshit facts, but I think that one is a real tip of the hat. Shit, I mean, I didn't do any research for that. I, like, I was eating granola really loudly in my <laughs> mouth, so I didn't really hear his name. So that's what I thought it was, but thanks for confirming that for me. You're welcome. Um, All right, which of the other thirty actors do you want to do you want to tap on? So I want to tap on quite a few of these actors. All right, who's the number one actor you want to tap on? Zac Efron. Mm, Zac Efron. I want to bleach my hair like Zac Efron, and it's happening for the New Year's. I'm. It's happening. You promise? What the fuck, yes, I do. dude? Yes, I do. Oh, we're going to take pictures. We're going to take videos. We're going to post it all up on the socials. I got to find So, hey, uh, baddies, if there's anybody out there who does hair, let me know and we can work something out because I am super cereal. You're super cereal? So you're going you're gonna to frost the tips? Or you're no. Gonna, what are you going to do? I'm going to go all blonde like Zach. All F. blonde. Do it healthy because that there's, bleach is no, going to kill your there's scalp. There's no healthy way to dye your hair, bro. But luckily I have virgin thick hair. So if it looks bad, I can just shave it down like Eminem. Uh-huh. Um, oh, That'll be a look. That'll be a look. Guess who's back? Um, Alex is back. Will I would Alex, not listen to that song. Alex stand up? The real Alex. Will Alex stand up? Because he is Alex. Please stand up. Please stand up. Will the real Alejandro please stand no, up? Mine sounds better. What? <laughs> you can't just... Fuck you, no, you I'm yuck. <sighs> All right, who else you want to talk about? You pick. I've been picking a bunch. Okay, I'll pick. Let's talk about you and me. Let's oh, talk about. Fuck. There's so many actors and actors. Who was the most unexpected you you saw in this movie? Um, I think it might have been Common. To be honest, Common was kind of a shock for mine. It was Carl Ewes. Oh, the doctor. The doctor who's in it for he literally has not a real name. He's called like Stan's doctor. He's slated as Stan's, but doctor. he is the dread. Pirate Scott from Princess Bride. He is uh, Robin Hood from Robin Hood Men in Tights. He's, and they gave him this small of a part? He just wanted to be in a Gary Marshall film, bro. This I'm, is a cash cow. I think most of these actors signed for a percentage of the of the uh, gross of this film. You know De Niro signed for a, percent, for a percentage. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, because... Because even if it flopped, they're going to get something. Yeah, even if it flopped. And look, it did not... Financially, did not flop. Critically... Condemned, which is what we are doing here, guys. So which number do you like? Critic numbers or money numbers or smile numbers? Because this is crushing in all categories except for critic numbers. Let's talk about Katherine Heigl. Boo. Boo, Katherine Heigl. You fucked up your own career in Hollywood because apparently you were a... Bitch. Um, um, we're she, supposed to be defending this film, right? <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It can't be that. Bad. It can't be that bad. It's not. It's not. Honestly, it's not seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It no. should not be. It should not be. For it, some it's... of the hot garbage that we watch for this film, uh, and I chose not to hang out with my family on Christmas Eve to watch this. Um, it's uh, shouldn't be seven percent. No, no. It, it definitely had a bunch of fun one-liners, a bunch of co- uh, nice quips, and I think one of the things that really will draw you. Uh, it's into cool the to movie. see New York. Yeah, go ahead. It's cool to see New York, and one thing that'll make you want to watch it all the way through is to see what happens. See what happens. There's you, a lot of mystery here because they introduce so many people in the beginning. You get invested very quickly in at yes. least one of the storylines, and mm-hmm. like any good soap opera, it doesn't come back until you think it's over. And you'll get curious as to how most of it, uh, how most of the characters are intertwined. Yeah, because you don't really find out until the end. Are we going to spoil this movie? Because I don't think anyone's really going to watch it, or you've probably seen it already. Let's yeah, spoil it. Came out like I mean, nine years ago. There's not too many spoilers that matter. Um, fuck it, bro. Fuck it. The right. dies. Yeah, I mean that's kind of given. He he just didn't, you know. And Hillary Swank is his baby. 
That's that was crazy. That was actually a good twist. <clears throat> that was there a are good, some good scene. twist. Uh, and then like some expected, like Zach Efron hooked up with Michelle Pfeiffer at the end. I want to say they uh, hooked up. They just kissed. He did you see them during the dance scene at the end? It looked very she innocent. No way, bro. There they was just, no body contact. Yeah, but like when they like he's like, come on, come on. You see her, and she's like fixing her lipstick, and uh-huh. she's smiling. They're just having a fun time. They're having a fun time. Josh Duhamel. Yeah. Josh Duhamel's character the entire film. He's too young to be with Sarah Jessica Parks. Yeah, and too handsome to be with Sarah Jessica Parker. The name of my horse in Red Dead Redemption is Sarah Jessica Parker. Is it? Yep. You know want you want to know the name of my horse? Melissa? It's a red What the fuck? What? Don't stick your tongue out like you're super cool. I'm a comedian. <laughs> Comedians never do that. What? No wonder I don't get laughs You're at the clubs. Tooty, yeah, after every joke, whenever I'm you do a it. comedian. Man, 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 man. Boo, get off stage. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Um, the name of my horse in Red Dead Redemption is Red Bean with Boba. But you're not going to get that because you don't like Asian drinks. I don't like Asian. Uh, you know what? That's not true. Mm-hmm. I enjoy. Um, I enjoy sake. Okay, I mean that's alcohol. You enjoy alcohol. That this is all alcohol. And I enjoy, um, I enjoy. Um, you can't even. The first time, oh, a li- that mar- marble soda that you get at Japanese restaurants, where you have to like oh, thunk it down. Oh, there's a single marble, and yeah. it like yeah, 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 yeah. clogs the neck of the bottle. If you drink it wrong, <laughs> I don't drink that shit, dude. Apparently, you don't know how to drink it. Okay, you know, the first time Melissa and I showed you boba, you remember what you called it? No, what? An Asian horchata. Hey, it is. Not really. It's Asian horchata. Do or, or does horchata have tapioca in it? No, but but it's it's the equivalent in the community. I guess I so. The culture I drink. I guess so. You're, you're uh-huh. so upset that I'm right. Uh, no, not that you're right. You're so upset that I'm right. Do you have the best person on set award, my friend? Robert De Niro. Oh, <laughs> the action <laughs> choreographer of this film. <laughs> no, I I think I think uh, the casting director should get some credit. And who's the casting director? Well, just vamp about Robert De Niro while I look. Robert De Niro is a great actor. Um, we'll talk about him in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but really, I didn't expect to to actually tear up during this film oh, because really? I was yeah. Well, when it came to down to Robert De Niro's uh, scene with Halle Berry, where he he wakes up and ha- uh, he wakes up Halle Berry because he's kind of uh, disillusioned. Um, he's delusional and he's thinking that Halle Berry is his daughter. And he says, like, hey, uh, hey, honey, the ball is going to drop tonight. This is our night. And I'm sorry, like, I didn't live up to the promises. And that was just a very sentimental moment. And it was a very, very sad scene to me. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things where you can forget that you're watching a shitty movie when you watch something like that. Yeah, that scene by itself, standalone. Christmas movies will do that to you sometimes. Yeah, for sure. I think my headphones went out. But they went out? Did I they pull know, them out? No, no, no. Never mind. I can't hear it again. Okay. Um, but yeah. My best person on set of word is a duo. Two young ladies, uh, because uh, if they're listening, I'd like to get a job. Uh, Kathy Sandrich Glenfond. Sandwich? Did you say sandwich? Sandrich. Okay. <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. I want a job. <laughs> And I don't think it's gonna happen. Amanda McKee, because <laughs> we've laughed so much about her her middle name, Sandwich. The second name was boring compared to Sandwich Lady. <laughs> um, no, guys, hey, check it out. If you got two hours to burn and you hate your brain cells, yeah, watch New Year's Eve. Yeah, watch Valentine's Day. Actually, shit, when you're listening to this, watch it's it. gonna Going be on. New Year's Eve. Yeah, hopefully, you're watching this as the countdown. Hopefully, you've lined this up perfectly. Yeah, because uh, we will count down. Uh, New Year's with you guys. Yeah, at so the very end of the episode. Let's start plugs in, I guess. And yeah, and yeah. Get... You could follow me at Christian Has Asthma. And you can follow me at call underscore me Jesus. And you can follow the podcast at ICBTB, ICBTB podcast. podcast. Um, if you're not following it already, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, thank you for finally agreeing with me. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Hey, but really, listen to this episode, ladies, while you're getting ready for your for your New Year's parties. What? They're, no, not while they're getting ready. This has to be lined up to go at midnight. Yeah, no, but then stop the episode right here. No way, bro. This is how you guys... We're at 29 minutes, 45 seconds, so you should have lined this up exactly 30 minutes before. 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Christian. Happy New Year. Oh, no.
acquaintance be forgot. Na na na, something can let me know. Na na na, na na na, na na na, na na na. You always ba, gotta take ba, it further. Ba. We couldn't have just got it clean after that. Let me just croon it. Let me croon just... it out. <sighs> ba, ba, ba. No. Ba, ba. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Ba. I'm assuming that we're gonna be cutting this out at this point. <laughs> ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. These are great lyrics. <laughs> Thank you, it's Talagalai. Can't be there.